Hi there. I'm Diana Liz, um, brain health coach, and with my I'm with my good friend and partner, Pam Miles, who is also an M M Amen brain health coach. And uh, today, Pam, what do you want to talk about today? Well, I, I wanted to talk about um, physical activity, okay, um, fitness, and uh, incorporating. Um, all different types of fitness and in the play. You know, um, my husband and I, we are really big into, uh, we're just big kids. We, we, we enjoy playing. You know, um, we have a, we have a tether ball that you will catch us uh, doing tether ball. And I didn't want to do it in school because I was always afraid. I was so little. I was afraid to get out there with boys and play. But now I'll play with him. <laughs> <laughs> and I go with the older kids. We get out there and play with it. And we've got badminton and uh, cornhole and a swing. He put me a swing out there. So, uh, you know, we just uh, try to do things that are fun. And, uh, and it's made such a difference for me. And I think a lot of people have a misconception that they think when they think, um, they always think of exercise as like, oh, I gotta go to the gym. Well, that is one form of exercise. But, you know, that's not the only form. And there's, there's so many ways to, to keep fit. And it's so important because, you know, that's one thing I think, Diana, that I've realized that um, since the thing with COVID, uh, I just, I used to have a regular fitness routine. And uh, I think that was keeping me in check with, the, with my blood sugar and everything. But since I have not really been doing that as much, um, I understand that uh, it's extremely important. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I agree with you. Um, I had my uh, fitness re regime also, um, uh -huh. and um, I would go to the gym uh, three, three times a week at least, and I did intervals, and I really enjoyed, um, I like to sweat. Um, I'm, I'm a dancer, and I remember when I was young, I, I had the ability to to do so much physical exertion that I would be covered in sweat. I mean, you, you, I could get a towel and just you know dry myself off, and my clothes when I took them off, you could wring them. And I love that feeling, but I can't work out that hard. <laughs> and also, it's not necessary for me at my age to work that hard. But I didn't enjoy doing intervals, and I was doing yoga once a week, and I was doing progressive country Western dancing once a week. And that really, um, the combination of those activities re really uh, helped me um, stay grounded. And when they were taken away with COVID, I, um, um, I did pretty well up until like mid uh, June. And then um, I went to the clinic and I said, I wanna be trusted for COVID. And I, I just felt just totally drained and exhausted. And the test came back negative and I had some blood work done then. And my glucose was way up and my cholesterol was way up. My, fi my fibromyalgia that had disappeared two years prior had returned and my psoriasis that had disappeared two years prior had also returned. And it's part of the stress. Uh, I think that, that it just, um, it's, it's, it just has taken the social aspect is so important. And I remember reading a, a store, um, a, a research um, uh, posting, and they took um, uh, people who had a su sudden cardiac infractions, and um, they had recovered some. And one group was assigned to go to the gym and work out. The other group was assigned to go and do um, Viennese waltz. And six months later, they measured the changes. And guess who had made more progress? The people who were doing Viennese waltz. And uh, I, I don't know if you've ever done Viennese waltz, but uh, it's exhilarating. You, you, you twirl and you move 
and then you go the other way and all these um, um, endorphins are released as you dance and you, you feel light on your feet and you got all these chemical, happy chemicals uh, working in your body. And it makes a big difference when you are happy doing an activity as opposed when you're doing it because you have to. The doctor yeah. said, I have to exercise. Well, it, it, you movement is essential for life. Everything that's alive moves, but um, being on the treadmill is not necessarily um, the best thing for you. Uh, intervals yeah. are important for the brain. Um, aerobic activity is important for the brain, but there are a lot of different ways to get it. Yeah. Yep. Even housework counts. <laughs> we pause this. So Pam, what else do you want to add um, to what we've talked about so far? Well, you know, it's just the fact that, um, you know, movement, exercise, fitness, physical activity, you know, whatever that huge umbrella is, you know, and uh, it, it's just so important because it impacts your brain, which affects everything, mm -hmm. you know, improves the mood, uh, as you were talking about being happy with what mm -hmm. you're doing. Um, you know, as a physical therapist, I would talk with people and they were always just like, oh, I've got to do all this exercise. And I'm like, you know, that's why I was saying it's so important to find something that you do enjoy doing, you know, whether it's tennis or swimming or, um, you know, there's just so many things uh, that you can do. And like I said, to just finding something that's, a fun activity like we went out this weekend and we went to walking all over our property for about an hour and a half we had our metal detector out yeah and you know it was fun and it, but i got a lot of steps in it. you know a lot of people keep their steps you know they have the app and everything you know like, my steps so, in. <laughs> i'm like i've been all over the place this is great <laughs> and uh, you know um, it does help with the stress and it helps, and of course, that in turn, you know, you've got all your um, hormones that are involved mm -hmm. in, in with exercise. You've got the insulin and the, you know, the cortisol. Mm -hmm. We're talking about stress, you know, and there's just, like I said, there's just so many factors that are affected and it's so important to, to bring that in there. And, um, I was uh, reading something that somebody that Albert Einstein said that play is the highest form of research, uh -huh. and that uh, uh, George Bernard Shaw said that we don't stop playing because we grow old. We grow old because we stop playing. That's true. Yes, I agree that one hundred percent. Yeah. And so I, I, you know, I just really feel like that uh, that is true. Because you know, I mean, um, when we so when my husband and I get out there and we're like, you know, being big kids, it, it just it makes such a difference in how I feel overall. And uh, I have, like I said, I, I just recently started monitoring the, the blood sugar and everything. But I can tell after my walk, it does come down. Mm -hmm. it, it makes a difference in that for me. So now I've got a personal goal to get back on my structure program. And in the, in the aerobic activity is very important. Mm -hmm. um, that is, that's something that uh, oftentimes we kind of take for granted about how we need to do that along with strengthening. Yes, I agree. Um, strengthening is really important, for, especially for our bones. It's crucial. crucial. Yeah. And, uh, you know, for gals that are, you know, uh, premenopausal or have already gone into menopause, uh, it's, it's just very important because we have so many hormonal changes going on during that time. And, uh, you know, our bodies, uh, it affects everything, everything that we do. And so, like I said, uh, to me, it, the fitness was just a really big component. Um, and I'm, something I knew personally I wasn't doing enough of. Yeah, and the thing that you did is you walked outside 
and just being out you know around trees and grass and sunlight and the wind um, there's something that happens when we're out in nature and when when we come indoors we lose that connection and that connection is is important too yeah to yeah. be outdoors and to be out and feel the seasons even though we may not like the extreme heat we have here in Texas or the sudden bursts of cold like we've had today, you know, uh, was it a 50 yeah. degree drop in temperature? <laughs> yeah, well, we have oh no, yeah, I'm trying to stay it. warm and drinking my tea, yeah. but it is important to, um, to, to feel the, the seasons and, and to enjoy the changes uh, that each season brings and to be outdoors, so. Gives you the vitamin D. Yes, you know. vitamin D is 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 critical. It just it's essential. Yes. Yeah. So you know it it is good to get out and and just enjoy life as she can. Yeah. Well, I hope that uh, our discussion on movement and all the different possibilities that are available and how important it is um, gets you up and moving and uh, so that you can feel, be healthier and happier. Uh, so I'm Diana Liz with my friend, Pam Miles. We are two brain coaches clacking on health. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye-bye. I'm going to.